so we have two tables and uh, i will go to the data tab and my this first table is is not a normal range it's already converted into the table format and i will go to uh, get and transform group and here i can find an option which is called from table or range so what i am doing is i will be pushing this data into the power query and i will make a connection of it so that this data should connect with within the power query domain okay so what i will do is i will click on this from table or range button and uh, this will open a new window for me and this is the power query window uh, and in the previous webinars many of the tr uh, trainers has explained you about the power query so this is the interface of uh, power query and here what we need to do is we need to uh, create a connection first so for creating a connection uh, what we will do is because we don't know don't need any kind of a transfer transformation if we need to do any kind of a transformation or changes with the database so you can do that for example uh, if if i don't need a time here i just need a date i can simply click on date and uh, replace current so my date is correct so for example if you need some tra transformation you can do it otherwise you can skip because we just need to create a connection first so i will quickly go to close and load menu and here i will not select close and load because if i click on close and load the exact data will be pasted on the excel interface what i need to do is i need to create a connection and for creating a connection i will click on close and load to button and uh, here import data window will appear and i will just click on only create connection because i just need to create a connection of this table into the power query so i selected only create connection option and i will press ok here so as i soon as i press ok you can see that table one connection only has been shown in the right side of my this panel and you can also preview the data as well so now for the second table uh, I will also create a connection for the second table. And again, I will go to uh, the data tab and I will click on from table or range. And here the power query window will appear. We have a preview of our data, right? And uh, for creating a connection, I will just click on close and load to again. And I will select only create connection option. And I will press OK. So now, we have a two tables, table one and table two, and both are successfully uh, made as a connection. Now our duty is to apply a different kind of a joints and give you a demonstration that how different kind of joints behaves as an output. Okay, so for example, uh, let's to merge the data or to and and to apply the joints. Okay, what we need to do is. We will go to the get data option and from this menu we will go to combine queries and here you can see two different options the first one is the merge and the second one is append so merge and append both are two different things uh, we will uh, be applying merge in these first examples uh, for the appending we will come later on this webinar so we will go to the merge option and uh, a window will appear in front of you where we need to select the different tables so we have two tables so on on the first we will select the table one which gives us a preview of the, all those four columns and um, at, at the bottom we will be selecting table two so for instance uh, as i told you earlier in the webinar whatever table you are selecting at the first will be known as the left table and at the bottom whichever table you select this is called the right table okay and then you have uh, a choice uh, between a different kind of uh, to apply the join kinds and uh, as i told you earlier in the webinar in, in much detail as a fundamental that each kind of a join gives you a different kind of an output so uh, starting with the most primarily and most common kind of a join which is called the left outer join uh, which do all from the first matching from the second right so i will click on this and also i need to identify the primary key for for matching between these two tables so 
as I know that the product ID is the most commonly available between these two tables. So I will just click on, on the product ID column in table one and table two. And as you can see at the bottom, the selection matches three of eight rows from the first table. And as soon as I press OK, there will be an output in, in the Power Query interface. So now here in this interface, you can see that the first four columns represent the left table in which we have the product ID, product name, date, and amount. And from the second table, if you open this drop down menu, in the second table, we have the product ID, product name, and stock location as well. Right? So if you need some specific column, you can just check mark that. If you don't need any column, you can uncheck that as well. Uh, for the aggregate side, if you want to do some calculation, you will go to the aggregate side. But for in, in our current scenario, we don't need to perform any aggregation. We just need to expand the data from the right table. And also, we need to uncheck the uh, option, which is called use original column name as prefix, because this is not relevant here. So I will press OK. And all the transactions from the table to table two, which is the right table, which were matching from the table one, has been ex uh, expanded. And after that, I need to click on close and load button to get my output finally on the Excel interface. So now the Power Query will bring the, all the data by applying the left join on my Excel interface. So this is how you apply the left join between two tables. Uh, as, as a left join okay next we can demonstrate about the right join again we will go to data tab get data combine queries and we'll we will be clicking on merge so first we will select the table one then we have select the table two and now you can see there is a there is a difference. Uh, previously, it was showing the menu, the drop down list was showing table one and table two. But now here, it's also showing merge one. So if, if later on, if you need to apply uh, the merging or joins between the new tables as well, you can do that. But for now, in this example, uh, we will be applying merging joins between table one and table two. And in this example, now we are applying the right outer join. So if if the IT guy is doing this kind of a job, he, he would be writing an SQL. And for the SQL, you need to write some lines of coding. So now this is the advantage for the business user that he don't need to write any kind of a coding. He just need to select the right kind of a join from the list, and then he can get the output as well very easily. So this is the self-service business intelligence from the Microsoft that the business user don't need to deep drive into the coding uh, whole day as he just need to understand the right purpose and the concepts of the joins and the other application features so that he can do his work without any dependency on the IT as well. So now in this situation, uh, we have applied the right outer join. And when I press OK, again, the interface um, goes into the Power Query window, and then from here, we will be expanding the uh, table two. And when the data is expanded, now if we want to do any transformation, we can do transformation. We have a lot of features available, or we can simply click on close and load. And now the data has been uh, joined, and you can see the output of a right join, okay? So all the transaction in the right table plus the matching from the left table is now being merged together, right? Uh, 